Julissa Arce is the best-selling author of My Underground American Dream, and she's an immigrant rights activist, and you immigrated here from Mexico when she was just 11 years old and lived as an undocumented citizen for nearly 15 years. Through college, during a successful career on Wall Street, you're now an American citizen. You serve on the board of directors of the National Immigration Law Center, co-founder of the Ascend Educational Fund. So you wrote an article also for BuzzFeed titled, American Dirt Tries to Pretend That Immigration Isn't Political. And you wrote, American Dirt never fully addresses or even tries to address the real reasons why migrants come to the United States and the conditions they encounter when they arrive. What were you feeling or what were your feelings when you read the book? Yeah. Well, I, I felt a lot of things, um, but I think I'll say three, um, given the time that we have. One, I was thinking about the real immigrants that make that trek that are currently in Mexico unable to even make an asylum case, which is a perfectly legal, legal way to come into the United States because of policies like the Remain in Mexico policy. I was thinking about the hundreds of thousands of dreamers whose lives are in limbo because this administration has rescinded the program that protects them, DACA. I was thinking about the families that are still separated mm -hmm. and the, hundred, the, the tens of thousands of immigrants that are in detention. I was thinking about them and I was thinking about their real life stories. The other thing that I was thinking about is how, as a Latina writer, I'm very often asked to make my stories more relevant mm -hmm. and to make them more accessible. Mm -hmm. And what I have to ask is, when the publishing industry is 80% white, mm -hmm. what I'm really being asked to do is to make my stories more relevant to white people. Mm -hmm. Because I have to say, my stories are relevant. I think about a recent story of a teacher who tweeted to President Trump. She thought she was sending DMs, but she was actually just tweeting for the whole public to see. And she was telling him that her school has been overrun by illegals and he needed to send ICE to her school. And I have to say, I am not interested in changing her mind, really. I am not interested in using my writing to be relevant to her. I am thinking about the school children that are sitting in her classroom, feeling like they don't belong in this country. And those stories are also relevant. So my issue is not Janine's book, really. My issue is with a publishing industry that systematically silences us by keeping us off the bookshelves.